With us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds among flyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. The opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much-anticipated fight. Round one underway. <laughs> Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Nailed by a shot upstairs. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Diesel's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Halfway through this round here, the Sandman's right hand scores well that time. Unable to score with the hook. The Sandman's punch didn't come close. And he just holds on there, covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. There's the hook. Shot to the head with that right hand. End of the round. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with your ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you got to go out there and put something forth if you want to win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. Two jabs, two jabs. And every time you throw that jab, I want to see you land that overhand, all right? Don't go straight in. Give him a little faint first. You gotta watch the water in the Nice and relaxed. You're in control, all right? Here we go. Round two is underway. to him he hurt him there diesel's opponent is trying to smother him but instead he's pushing him away trying to land a big shot and he's lucky he's getting away with it joe that the referee's not warning him for this his opponent wanted wow look at the torque from that uppercut in florida to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy if you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive carries the punch puts one in there oh! 
Teddy, I've heard you say it a million times early on in a fight. If there's any one piece of good advice you can give, it's start depositing it into that bank. Go to the body. Yeah, because the interest comes later, and you're going to see the payoff in the late rounds. Good block by Diesel. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. All right, breathe, deep breath, get some water. We got you it. good? You all right? Breathe. You won that round, all right? You won that. We got it. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. The Sandman's hope is for him to be steady on his feet and just survive at this point. Remember, that last round, he was down and nearly out. Well, his hope is that his corner revived him during that minute rest, and also they gave him good advice because the most important thing is don't let what happened the last round happen again. Correct what you did wrong. Face yourself. One, two, one, two. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Finish with the hook. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Keep working the chair. Good, good. Back to the body. Back, back. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He's been stunned. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Very nice defensive guard there. Well off the mark by Diesel. Stumbled back. He just got hurt. And that's the end of round three. Relax. Relax. You're okay. You're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep him up. Listen, he's going to come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? Diesel's knockdown scored is the big difference in this fight so far. As we start round number four, he's clearly won two of the three rounds. Yeah, he has, Joe, but his opponent should not be influenced by that. What I mean is that it's not panic time yet. You know, he still can get back in this fight just doing the things that he came here to do. Use the jab and be steady. Nice block by Diesel. <laughs> no, he missed that right. That's what I want to see. <laughs> the Sandman's getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. 
60 seconds. Oh, and there you go. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Diesel's hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about machoism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. The Sandman's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. End of the round there. A round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing on that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. You do it. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Halfway into round number five here. Diesel's proving to be elusive. Off the target by Diesel. Whoa. Now hugging on the inside. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes up strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was, and whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. But I need to see the cop. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Pace yourself! You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. 
They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. The Sandman's able to land a good, solid left hand. Not much action as he just ties up. Still not moving enough. Halfway through move, round six. Move. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Diesel. Focus. And he clinches yet again. Well off the mark by Diesel. And he's holding. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Really fun looking fight so okay, far here. Work. We've reached nice the halfway work. mark. Teddy, see one your impressions punch, right? as to what we're going to see in the second half of this fight. Punch, yeah. More of the same. I don't think one. these fighters know the how to do anything, at least tonight. They came here with this mentality, and you know what? You can't really change gears at this point. You're going to see more of the same. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. There you go. Relax, relax. You can do this. You know you got this. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. You see him holding on. The Sandman's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Relax, relax. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're a linebacker in football. You go down the line with that running back. You don't go following him around the place. You make sure you move laterally. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's got to cut that ring down, take space away. Diesel's got to deal with a cut cheek. And he ties up on the inside. <laughs> A knifing left hand by Diesel. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Relax, relax. Take a deep breath. I need you to focus. Anticipate his punches, okay? All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. There you go. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When, when he throws a jab, parry it away and you'll catch him, okay? Seven entertaining rounds so far. The Sandman's up on your scorecard, but there's still a lot of work to be done. 
Yeah, well, he moves his head. Defensively, there's a lot of work to be done because he moves his head, Joe, but he does it with his hands down. And every once in a while he gets caught, he gets caught clean. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Diesel. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. He missed that uppercut. The Sandman's showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't thrown back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. the body shot just 10 can you believe that what a change in momentum he just got rocked moments ago he was the one hurting his opponent reminds you of this song i can do anything you can do only better hard to believe that they can keep up like that okay right one of those rounds that you just won't forget both guys able to land big punches on the other. Well, in the old days, they'd be snapping one of those capsules under their nose, you know, smelling salt, ammonia capsules. Not allowed anymore. They want to wake them up, get them together. Now you got to dump a little water on them, send them out. You don't need that. I'll throw that away. Nothing but highlights so far. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Back to the body. Get him, get him. Blocks that belt line well. Brings the hook that time. Diesel's locked in on that target with the hook. Why so easy, Teddy? Why is he making this look so easy with that Well, punch? first of all, his opponent's standing right there in front of him, and his opponent's not really an inside fighter, so he's having a ball right now. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Well placed, straight right hand. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap there. Let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's gonna end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Come on, don't let this schmuck rest. 
Keep work. Keep throwing. We got it. One, one, two. One, one, two. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Diesel's in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said. And it's just, it's not, it's not making the picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. Halfway through round 10. Diesel's able to avoid that punch. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round. And he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively. And when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. The Sandman's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is. And specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good. You know, he'll attach. They're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. And we come to the end of the round. Three. I need to see the combinations from him. Jab, finish off with the hook, okay? Right. One, one, two. Up there, you know, we've been raving about the work he's done tonight, but I look over at your scorecard as we start this 11th round, and this is a dead Let's even fight. Men. Diesel's opponent knows that as well. Yeah, I hate to say this and say something that is so used, it's such a overused phrase but it comes down to who wants it more Keep working it, bud. well that was his intention and that's what he's doing not engaging in the fight but clinching but it really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut good job Diesel's out there clinching, and that may tell us, as well as his opponent, that his legs aren't necessarily underneath him. No, and they're not, and that's why he's clinching. He's got to do more than just clinch. He's going to have to find a way to kill a little more time, maybe grab and then walk a little bit. Walk to the other side of the ring before the referee can get there and kill some clock. Halfway through this 11th round, Oh, he just misses with that headshot. That's it. That's it. Uppercut. Take the shot. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Seconds to go in this round. Hmm. 
The Sandman's gathering himself right now in the corner, and his trainer is really doing him a good service in reminding him, yes, to this point, the later stages of this fight, you're in control, but still, go out and do everything we talked about in training camp. Last round, okay? This is it. Last round. Finish this smartly, okay? You have this one. Just be smart. Here it is, the final round of what has been a closely contested battle. You need to keep that head moving. Good, solid right fun. hand by Diesel. Good job, buddy. There's the head shot, but he parries it away. The Sandman's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Finish with the hook. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. You're Halfway through this 12th and final round. The Sandman's on. cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Last minute of this last round. Just like that, just like that. That hook was well off the mark. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. Hey, keep your hands up. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Very, very close fight. But the envelope, please, will bring all the drama. Which way will the judges see this? This is where they earn their money to be able to pick the right guy for tonight. Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judges agree, unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.